shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Crashed again. Not on camera. Ah. Oh. Fucking enduro lines here. <laughs> Such a difference. What? <laughs> the dichotomy. <laughs> Hey. Are we live? What's your name? <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> That's not your name. Thunder Bear. What's up? <laughs> right. Hey, Thunder Bear, what are you racing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow doing um, Tour de Lake. Where? Uh, in Spencer, West Virginia. How far? And it's a 16 mile cross country race. Okay. Yep. Uh, what are you worried about tomorrow? Uh, actually, I'm just not knowing the course because I've never ridden there before, and uh, we. Uh, and that's it. I I don't have high aspirations for tomorrow. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's all you're worried about. Yeah, you know, I'm prepared for. No, I. You know, what happens tomorrow happens tomorrow. I'm. I. Uh, I thought about it. And I'm not. I know I'm not prepared to win, per se, because there's some stiff competition, and it's. <laughs> and I've been, you know, it's been an easy week, been a rest week for me. So today was a nice opener, uh, the, like 16 miles on the bike and having a good old time. Uh, so thank you. What are you pinching? Nipples or penis? Nipples. <laughs> nipples. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna go out and do what I can. I, I, th I think I'll change my strategy a little bit um, this time. Instead of going out super hard and destroying everybody on the climb, on the first climb, I'm just gonna try maybe pace with the people that I'm competing against. Uh, given that I don't know th who they are exactly, that'll be a little hard, but I think I have an idea who they are. So that's all. I'm just going to go out and try and... Right. Mm. What are you um, excited about? Um, just new trails. You know, I, I'm, I always like riding new stuff and... I will and, always love new trails. Um, trying out and new shit. I... So... That's... Oh, I'm sorry. This is your interview. It's okay. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to and, you know, hopefully getting on the podium. That would be, that would be the highlight for sure. I mean, after winning last weekend and not getting any video, getting some good video tomorrow would be, uh, awesome. <laughs> Lewick didn't win because he's my downhill crush. And I'm glad that. Rachel won because she's my downhill uh, idol. Idol, yeah. Mentor, yeah. I don't really doubt. Are you worried about anything for tomorrow? Um, I am worried about my nerves because I get a little nervous. Okay. Um, and the nerves are what make me get off of me. The nerves are what make me have bad performance. Okay. Um, and um, I'm worried about my hands going numb because they've been doing that a lot lately. And um, I'm worried about the trail because on trail forks, it does not sound like it's very, um, fun. very fun or uh, yeah it just doesn't sound like it's going to be that great of a trail okay. cool um, are you looking forward to anything for tomorrow um my first race cross country race in four years um I'm looking forward to it being over fears and props after Yes, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the feeling of it being 
like over yeah so accomplishing like it? accomplishing it okay. yeah that's what i meant right okay. like <laughs> not necessarily you know like the before or the after or any of that but i also am um yeah i would like to i would like to ride more so i'm i'm interested to see how i do <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Gonna try. All right, here we are, the 2023 Tour de Lake in Spencer, West Virginia. This is uh, race number five <laughs> in luck, the Teresa. West Virginia Mountain Bike Association point series uh, for 2023. Um, I've only done one other race, the Mountain Wood race. I didn't bother putting the footage up from that. I didn't get much before the GoPro died, anything good at least. So this race starts off flat and then we immediately go up a really steep road climb here. And my strategy was to just, just manage this climb as best as possible, not go super hard, blow myself up before um, you know the race even starts because the first four or five miles is, is climbing. Um, and I, I didn't know the course at all except for this road climb and part of the single track that we end up going on. I, uh, so I just didn't want to go out too hard and then end up blowing up, um, which I did at Mount Wood, unfortunately. And as you can see here, I figured I, once I got to this, this level spot, I could move up some positions. I didn't know many of my competitors, but I did know this guy on my left here in the white um, jersey. I, was, I remember him from the podium at the uh, Mount Wood, Challenge at Mount Wood race. Uh, he ended up getting, oh, it was fourth or fifth, I think. And so I was like, okay, well, I know this guy is a competitor. So um, I ended up finishing sixth at the Challenge at Mount Wood, so I was just off the podium. So I was like, if I can follow this guy, um, then I'm probably guaranteed a podium spot. And as you'll see, um, I, I did a really good job of pacing myself, but um, I, I still ran into some issues. So uh, we'll just uh, continue on and uh, see how it goes. So like I said, this is um, the single track after the road climb, but it ends up going back into um, <laughs> and, and a little hiccup there. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened there. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, after the uh, single track, this I mean, it's a short little bit of single track. So again, I didn't want to blow myself up trying to get to the single track first because we end up after this short little bit we're gonna pop out here soon and we're gonna be on a uh, fire road, double track, you know, enough for a, a side-by-side -side or four-wheeler to get up or a Jeep. Um, and that's the majority of our climb up to the um, top of this mountain, which is our, once we get to the top of that, that's our highest point. Um, but we, we're, not, we're not finished climbing at that point, but it's like four miles and 500 feet of elevation gain. still on the single track we're getting ready to pop out uh, here shortly on the fire road see um, we're on the double track now and we've been on it for about five minutes now and uh, I'm feeling good um, despite my heavy breathing um, I I didn't feel uh, I actually I felt like I was being 
very cautious. I wasn't going too hard. Um, the week leading up to this was a rest week for me, so I think I was pretty well um, rested. I was worried it was going to be a, uh, a down, like a not a good thing, but I came in, I felt really good. The day before, um, Teresa and I had um, ridden like 16 miles of uh, job, mountain bike trails, which is a bigger ride than I would normally do. I mean, we're out there for almost two hours just having a blast. And so I wasn't expecting to do, you know, anything well. So I'm still on uh, this gentleman. His name is Dwight. Uh, I caught up with him after the race. And, uh, but, yeah, so I felt good. And I was like, okay, I, I can go harder. So I decided to push it. And uh, this girl on my left here, her name is Kaya Taller, and uh, I think she's going to do big things in the mountain bike world. Um, she raced in uh, uh, nationals down in Arkansas just recently, so look out for her. And these are some more of our West Virginia Nike kids. Um, I call them kids, but you know, they're clearly they're big um so yep so i'm i'm feeling good and i'm able to put the power down so i figure uh this is it's still uphill but it's a very you know slight uphill right here it's like maybe one two percent um and that seems to be my my wheelhouse where i can really put it put a good effort in where other people can't um i just have a, a a solid FTPs to where I can put in, you know, hard efforts um, and go fast at that incline. On your left. Uh, when it when it turns really steep is where I start to go backwards because of my size and weight. So that's all always a uh, it's a you know catch twenty two I guess. I can go fast in certain sections and slower in others, and you, know, you just have to play to your strengths and, and know your weaknesses. And so that's what I planned on doing, and, and uh, it's working out so far. So we'll uh, you on. Get it, buddy. Like I said, I didn't know my competition, but this gentleman uh, I'm getting ready to pass here um, was uh, sitting second on the road. So when I was behind Dwight in the white jersey, I was actually uh, in fourth position. So I passed Dwight, so I moved up third. Um, and now I just passed that gentleman. I can't remember his name. Sorry to you. Um, uh, I think it's Calvin popped in my head just now but uh, he 
uh, yeah, he was sitting second on the road. And so now I uh, overtook him, and I'm sitting uh, second currently on on the road, as they say. And I was following this kid. He was pretty good. Um, technical wise and I find that if I can follow someone that is as good or better than me on in technical sections um, I do you know I, do, I handle the trail better it gives me someone to follow and if they do make a mistake I, I can see what they did wrong and, and you know I can fix that and go a little make it easier on myself or if they make a big mistake pass them but he was, you know, I, I, well, I slipped out my front wheel. I hit a, uh, like a twig or something with my front tire, and it just kicked my front wheel out. Uh, anyway, sorry, um, I digress. So uh, I was catching him easily in the flats and downhills, but as soon as like it would, uh, the road would turn up a little bit, like and we'd go through these little gullies, and he'd go up, he'd, you know, take a, take off from me. But I felt. I, I was kind of recovering after the effort on the climb, and I was comfortable. Um, so this is, was a mistake on my part. I should have passed him sooner. Um, if I, you know, if I felt good, I should have kept going hard. Uh, so after riding behind the young gun for a while, there I heard some people approaching us from behind, and I decided to go around him and uh, then eventually caught uh, this guy here and at the time I didn't realize that he was in my category so he was in the masters 45 plus category and I'll be honest the guy looks good for his age because I thought he was in 35 plus and here I'm passing him um, just uh, I, you know was I was going good um, but uh, yeah so that that surprised me so that that pass put me in uh, first place on the road and thanks bud yep. you're cruising man good job At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about my performance so far. Um, I've been moving forward and not backward on the course, and you know, just and still feeling good um, physically. Like I still feel like I've got more in me, and uh, so I'm, you know, I caught these two, sure. Thanks, and uh, this young guy, another Nike racer, lets me by. And I'm just putting down the power, you know, just feeling good. I'm going to try and, you know, do as much as I can on these parts where I, I know I have an advantage. Uh, this guy's super nice, lets me buy. Um, and I'm like, okay. You know, and this is the uh, double track on the way back um, to basically to where we came out on this. So now we're kind of going back on it for a little bit. Um, towards the race start, but we don't go through the race start again. We actually go over a, a dam. Um, and so I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm about uh, 30 minutes into this race uh, and I need I need to take in some fuel. I haven't drank anything yet. Um, and so I gotta, you know, I, I take in liquid calories. I use uh, scratch super fuel and here is where things start to go south. Boom. I was trying to yeah. put my bottle back in. I hit a little water break uh, on the fire road. And off off the uh, bike I go. And boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Um, that third guy that passed was, uh, you guessed it, um, the guy that I passed earlier um, that was second on the road. Now he's leading the race. So... I'm now second on the road, so that water bottle that I, I had pulled out is 
not normal one of my normal race bottles. It's a uh, it is a specialized bottle, but it has a, a cap that I don't like on it. And every time I go to try and drink out of it, the cap closes on me. And this was my fault because I misplaced my normal one of my normal bottles. And so that cost me, you know, ten seconds there on the road, unfortunately. So this it's really uh, frustrating for me. I mean, I can't blame the bottle so much. I was looking down because I was struggling to get the bottle back in the cage and just hit that little water break and it threw me off my balance. Uh, so I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but this is actually my first year focusing on uh, mountain bike racing. Uh, I'm normally a road racer, uh, so this is uh, pretty new to me. I've done mountain bike races in the past, but never really focused on it. So this past winter, I've worked a lot on my skills. I still have a ways to go, but um, obviously. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, you know, I've, I've been improving. I've been, I've been making a lot of gains and, and my training's come a long way. And I couldn't be, you know, happier with it. Uh, I'm having a blast. It's really fun learning new stuff and uh, it's, it's great. So now we're coming back down. This is the single track we climbed up, the first single track we climbed up off the uh, paved part of the course. Now we're just going back down it and we're gonna go, like I said, across the dam and, and then back onto the single track again. And it gets uh, rowdy as soon as we hit that. mistakes like this that just added up to me uh, you know taking time out of my effort and so it's things like that that I need to improve on and as you can see I some people have asked in my previous videos what bike I, I, I'm racing on this is a uh, 2022 Cannondale uh, scalpel HT4 which is there and I'm st sorry I'm struggling with uh, getting my clipped in and pedaling, so uh, forgive me there. More mistakes, you know, costing me time. Um, but anyway, sorry. Back, it's a carbon, uh, uh, Cannondale carbon uh, scalpel HT4, uh, which is their lowest model um, XC hardtail uh, carbon frame that they sell. I've made upgrades to it, including now. I've got uh, a RockShox SID Ultimate uh, brain fork on it, uh, so I don't have to remember to turn my lockout off, <laughs> which I have done before, and that, that's interesting when you forget to turn your lockout off. Uh, and so that's been a really nice upgrade. I've upgraded to the Hunt uh, XC Wide. Uh, aluminum wheel set which shaved like almost two pounds off the bike itself and I'm running uh, a specialized fast track S-Works up front with the T5, T7 compound and then I have a regular uh, fast track T5 compound in the rear just because of my weight I, I tried running the S-Works in the rear and uh, I pinch flatted them so I put a cush core insert in the rear and I'm running the T5 and that's helped a lot. I, uh, 
I, I, it saved me a couple times already, and so I'm a I'm a fan. It's uh, <laughs> it was worth the cost. Uh, so yeah, that was a worthwhile expenditure. Uh, that and the, like I said, the wheels that saved a lot of weight on, on the bike, and I I ended up just going ahead and buying a uh, set of carbon bars as well. Um, they're rollable bars from Specialized. And I think that's about all of the upgrades, you know, just minor stuff here and there, but yep, uh, it's got XT um, drivetrain and just actually just the like MT501 Shimano brakes and I put in put on better pads, uh, put Galfer pads and uh, Galfer rotors on it and man that made a huge difference with the braking performance of this thing. I have no issues with it. I, I see no reason to go to, you know, an SLX or XT brake set um, because th this is, I mean, I'm a big guy. I'm over 200 pounds and that's what I have now is plenty. I mean, I, sometimes I hit it and I feel like I'm going to go flying off the bike. So as you can see, there was a couple hike bike sections on this race and, uh, so we're huffing and puffing heading up this little climb, but uh, this was the last hike a bike uh, to leave for me. Maybe one more. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, this was, so like I said, I'm running a hardtail. This was the first race that I <coughs> wish I would have had suspension in the rear. Um, this... So far, the race has been pretty mellow. Like the trail's been very flowy, not nothing too much. But the last five miles of this race, which um, I think I have about three miles of it, just really uh, beat me up. Like I was, my upper body was tired uh, when I got done. Okay. So this was the first race that I felt like that. But other than that, man, this race was super fun. Uh, t the first ten miles just had a blast well maybe that's because i was feeling good and racing good uh, i'm not sure if you caught that earlier uh while i was ranting uh but i passed the gentleman that was in first and it turns out after the race i found out he actually broke a spoke so he had pulled over i think when he when we hit that uh, hill i guess he was he broke a spoke then but he decided to walk the bike up and then pull over and take a look at it. Uh, yeah, I found that out after the race, so that sucks. Um, he was clearly a strong rider, so um, one of these days I'm going to get a clean clean podium because <laughs> uh, he was uh, definitely riding strong. I would have liked to see how um, we ended up doing for the rest of the race. Uh, three miles left. Crashed again. Not on camera. I have no idea what position I'm in right now. So, just gonna try and not crash anymore. And Stay steady. That's about all I can do. So like I said there, I did not know what position I was uh, on the road. And it turns uh, out I was in second. The guy in the blue kit was leading the race. And he passed me when I wrecked off camera. So that's on me. If I would have... Yeah, get tired. Played it safer and not bombed down a uh, descent that I didn't know very well, or not very well. I didn't know at all. I probably would could have, you know, stayed ahead of him, but you know, I I didn't, and so I threw caution to the wind, trying to you know make a better move, but. Turns out it was the wrong move, uh, and I didn't know who my competition was, so that's on me as well. And 
you know, lesson learned. Uh, okay, we're okay. Jeez, crackers, man. That was painful. Alright. All right. Oh, right in my knee. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Son of a biscuit. Woo. I'll say that first half of this race was nice and easy. Second half has been row, uh, row, rough and slow. All right. Oh gosh, that left quad where I hit it when I went down is not happy when I stand up. Whew. Okay, okay. Less than a mile if, if my GPS is right. Oh man, a breeze. That feels amazing. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Get him, get him, go get him. No, sport, we, we do this again. You're not there yet. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Let me see a second. All right, I'm going left. Thank you. So that young lady I just passed there was in uh, racing in Teresa's category, and who I just passed, obviously. But uh, yeah, so currently for Teresa's race, she's sitting fourth on the road, and uh, I'm sitting second. So little quick update and like I said um, I'm coming and I'm under two miles left thank you Enduro lines here. Woo! seeing that guy ahead of me even though I didn't know if he was in my race or not definitely energized me but eventually I finished five seconds off of him in second place but no podium pick Ooh. unfortunately thanks all right finished my race probably about 30 minutes ago and it went really well actually I could have gone a lot harder early on but I just wasn't sure how my legs were gonna feel so regret that but uh, other than that Great race. First half went really well. Second half, uh, not so great. Actually, I said last 
like five miles were treacherous accidents, crashes on my part because I just didn't know the trails. Um, so I'm sitting here in this ice cold creek. It is June 11th and this water is freezing, but it's coming from apparently the bottom of the lake up there. So it's coming out down there and just down here and it's freezing cold. So I'm waiting for Teresa to finish. Good job, babe! Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. It's a video, so. <laughs> I did it. I finished my first sport race. <laughs> yeah, 16 miles. They said 15, but I got 16. And I, was I don't like, even know. I was like, okay, only, only got a mile left. And then <laughs> that went by and I was like, uh, yeah. hopefully only another mile. My watch tells me when I have gone five miles. So it was like five miles, five miles, five miles. And then I knew I had a mile left. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to puke the whole last six uh, miles. Nice. I, I did not. <gasps> I, I felt really good though. I didn't. I got there. <laughs> what are we having? Smash burgers. Smash, burgers. Smash tortillas. Is this item? Don't, don't judge, I forgot my spatula. Don't judge. Yeah. Yep. So I'm just heating them up. Oh, God. Don't worry. It's fine. It won't hurt That's you. That's carcinogen. A little, of, a little bit of dirt won't hurt you. Who knows what carcinogenic this is? This is my brother's.